Well, we face very considerable difficulties at the moment, and uh, I'm afraid the recent actions by government have not helped. Uh, the inflation continues to to grow very worryingly, very rapidly, and the 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 PMR rate, the parallel market rate, the informal sector rate on exchange continues to depreciate. It's approaching 500 now. And I've been saying to the government for some time that we need to address this. There's nothing wrong with the economy. The economy, the, the fundamentals are sound here. We have a balanced payment surplus. We have a surplus in our, in our, in our budget accounts. And uh, there's no reason for this. And the reason is that we're not trading our foreign currency properly. And if we did so, I think this would be a different country very, very quickly. But if I can just also say one thing, we mustn't lose sight of the fact that our economy is now growing rapidly. For the first time, I've been involved in this economy for more than 60 years. For the first time, we are creating jobs on a large scale. And, uh, and I think that's the most hopeful thing going forward. Businesses are investing and uh, they are employing people. And that's, that's the key. Um, that hasn't happened in this country for a long time. And uh, so I'm, I, young people ought to hang, hang their hats on that. I know lots of young people who are making big money here and, um, and who are really driving this economy, this new generation. In fact, in the, in the economy, in the business sector, it's this new generation that is driving things here. And uh, what I'd really like to see within the next few years is that this new generation takes, begins to take control of the country itself. It's your time. It's not going to dollarize. Okay, it's not government policy, and I completely agree with that. In fact, I think what we need to do is we need to spend our own... If you go to any of our neighboring states, if I go to Zambia, they want Kwacha. If I go to Botswana, they want Pula. I go to Mozambique, they want Medikash. They don't want US dollars. South Africa is the same. So we need to use our own currency. And uh, that is the key to maintaining our productive sector. Yeah, if we dollarize, then we, we reduce, we destroy our competitiveness. And then in terms of politics, are our politics okay in Zim? Do you think uh, the, the, the policies of government, uh, everything else is what we people expect? No, not at all. I think, I think there are a lot of changes needed. Um, and the main, the main change, you know, what I see in the business sector is terrific. You know, I, the other day I was talking to the Young Presidents Organization. This is 53 young businessmen, all of them millionaires. And uh, what struck me about that group was they're not interested in politics. They just want to make money. Mm -hmm. Guys, we've got to run the country. This, this new generation has got to stand up and take the lead. That's what happened in China, and you see the results. That's what happened in Rwanda, and you see the results. That's what's happening around the world. And uh, that is the hope of the future. And are we only seeing um, big companies coming up? Uh, some have existed for so long, and they're still up there. And we have uh, most of the company in the middle, they are closing down. They keep on closing. And you are saying everything is... No, I don't, I don't see any sign of that at all. Mm -hmm. Business here is doing very well. Mm -hmm. uh, most businesses report.